Good morning, everyone, and welcome to A Night in Bethlehem. My name is Becca Wilson, and I'm an 11th grader here at Galilee. In today's production, I play the part of the Virgin Mary. My name is Callie Comerford. I'm a fourth grader here at Galilee. Today, I will be playing the part of the angel who spoke to the Virgin Mary. This is my costume, and it's supposed to look like what people wore about 2,000 years ago in a country called Israel. And that's where the baby Jesus was born all those years ago, in a little town called Bethlehem. Israel is on the other side of the world, and instead of clothes like I'm wearing, they wear things like blue jeans and t-shirts. They have cell phones and the internet just like we do. But tonight, we're going to recreate Bethlehem just like it might have been like on a special night a long time ago. The night when Jesus was born to a virgin, to Mary, to me. What would it have been like on that night over 2,000 years ago on the other side of the world, in another country, in a little town called Bethlehem. Let's find out together as we journey back to A Night in Bethlehem. About 2,000 years ago, Mary, I mean, I was a young girl in Israel, and I was engaged to be married to a wonderful man who lived in our hometown of Nazareth. His name was Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter. Isn't he cute? <laughs> One day, before Joseph and I were married, an angel of the Lord appeared to me and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Well, I was pretty terrified, and I had no idea what the angel was talking about. But then the angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus, who will be great and be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. I felt better after that. Somehow, I didn't feel afraid anymore. That all sounded so wonderful. I felt really at peace. I just had one question. Um, excuse me, angel? Um, how? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the only one will be born and be called the Son of God. Well, that didn't seem too bad. In fact, that sounded pretty wonderful. So I found myself saying, I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. And then the angel left me, but I never forgot. I always remembered what the angel had said.
I'm Evan Logan. I'm an 11th grader, and I will be playing the part of Joseph. I am Claire Semler. I'm in second grade, and I'm the angel that visited Joseph. So, you may be asking yourself, like, dude, what are you doing? Like, first you're pledged to be married to Mary, and then you find out she's pregnant before the wedding. Like, this is not a good thing. This could be deadly. Like, what are you doing? So, just, I didn't want anything bad to happen to Mary, so I decided I had to divorce her quietly because apparently you have to do that back then. I don't make the rules. Anyway, so one night before, after I'd made this decision, I went to sleep and I had a dream where an angel appeared to me and said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to have Mary as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Well, that made me feel a lot better. So, and then the angel kept going on and said, She will give birth to a son, and she will give, and you're to give him the name Jesus, because he'll save his people from their sins. Well, <laughs> I, after that, I knew I couldn't divorce Mary. So I, I uh, took her into my home to keep her safe, and all we had to do was wait for the Son of God to be born. Alexander Gonzalez. I'm a ninth grader here at uh, Galilee, and tonight I'll be playing the role as the innkeeper. <laughs> so, you know, us innkeepers, we do a lot of work, and you know, we hardly get any credit for it. So, you know, after Mary decided to stay with Joseph, a decree went out to everybody in Israel that, ugh, that everyone had to go back to the, to the, to the town of their ancestors to be counted, and most importantly, taxed. <clears throat> so Joseph, Mary's husband, was a descendant of David, King David. And David was from my town, Bethlehem. I'm from the Brooklyn side. <clears throat> <laughs> So, 
So at Bethlehem that night, I was working my little shop when they came by, and that's when I, the star of the show, said my line. There's no room in the inn. <laughs> Here, you know what? I'll show you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, hey, what you need? Uh, I'm Joseph, and this is Mary. We need a place to stay. Oh, sorry, sorry, pal. I can't help you. There's no room in the inn. Wink, wink. <laughs> Come on, man. We've traveled over 70 miles to be here, and Mary's very tired. Can you help us out? Sorry, pal. I can't help you. With all these visitors from out of town for the taxation and all those and the counting, I, I don't have any room for you or the missus. Dude, come on, she's pregnant. <laughs> I see a problem. <laughs> you know, we've all got problems. <clears throat> don't we? You know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, since it's obvious that you two need a place to stay, uh, there's a stable out back. We'll take it. Take, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Alrighty then. Perfect. It's out back. <clears throat> did you hear that? God bless you, he says. Little did I know, God was going to bless everybody that night. And Bethlehem.
Hi there. We're Luke. Jeff. Hi. Grant. Mikowski. We're in grade seventh. Fourth. Here at Galilee, we play shepherds. That's short, short for sheep herders. In Bethlehem. Hi, I'm Sophie Leftwich. I am in sixth grade, and I play the angel. Swaddling cloths and laid them in the manger. That means a wooden box that holds hay. But don't look at us. We didn't know anything about it. Well, not what it happened anyway. No, see, we were out in the fields watching over a flock of sheep that night. And all of a sudden, an angel, an angel from God, appeared to us. And we were terrified. terrified. But the angel said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths lying and lying in a manger. Yeah, is that cool or what? But that's not all. No, that's not all at all. Suddenly a whole bunch of angels appeared with the first angel. And they were all praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to those who is pleased with honor. Then the angels left us. And then we all looked at each other. And we said, Dude, we got to go see this. It. Or, as it says in the Bible, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that's happening that the Lord has told us about. And so we went, and we found the Savior. And the manger. And the baby. Just like God had told us. And afterwards, we went into the town of Bethlehem, rejoicing and telling anyone who would listen exactly what had happened. And we prayed and glorified God for all that we have been told and all that we have seen. What a night in Bethlehem!
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oliver Lunkwich, and I am a second grader, and I'll be King Herod. No, do you freeze? My name is Hunter Cavanaugh. I will be playing the, I'm a fourth grader. I will be playing the part King Herod's chief priest. Hi, my name is Hannah Henretti, and I am a second grader. Hi, my name is Ellie Frank Tolerick, and I'm a fourth grader. Hello, my name is Captain Natterback, and I am a third grader. We are portraying the three wise men, I mean wise women of biblical fame. King, you may kings, you may call us, although the Bible does not. And there is no clear indication that there were three of us. There may or may not have, or less of that matter, but there were clearly three gifts, so tradition has indicated that there were three of us. It's quite likely that there were others in our entourage, servants, cooks, camel bearers, just to name a few possible others. The scriptures are not, are not, are not reading, are not, Specific. Specific. Specific regarding a number. Nevertheless, we arrived in Jeru Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Seeking the one who is born king of the Jews. You see, we see the star in the east and knew that he had been born. So we came to Israel to find him. We applied to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem. Jerusalem! First, knowing that the educated men of the Jews, Jews. The sight is there. The there. We believe that the most likely place for their king to be born would be in their capital city. <coughs> However, when we asked at the city gate, where is he who is born? the king of Jews, a Roman ruler, a despicable man named Herod, was quite upset. <laughs> <laughs> quite upset and all Jerusalem with him. But the loathsome Herod was helpful in his own way because he asked his chief priests about the Messiah. Where is the Messiah to be born? In the town of Bethlehem in Judea, great Herod. Bring me the wise men. I mean, the wise woman. Thank you! <laughs> we were summoned to Herod and told him when the star appeared. Then Herod lied to us and told us that he would, that, that he would like to come. That he would like to come worship the newborn king as well. He asked us to report back and tell him what we found the child. Terrible man. He had no attention for worshiping the child. He was jealous and did not want the child to live long enough to be king. Yes, that's what we found out later. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We went to Bethlehem. Bethlehem means house of bread. Did you know that? Uh, yes, thank you. I did. At any rate, we traveled on to Bethlehem. And the star we had seen went on before us and shone down on the place where the young child lived. Okay, okay. No, right. We have to, yeah, we have to go. Oh, oh right. <laughs> <laughs> we also brought gifts. Three gifts, remember? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The gifts, I believe, are it now represented by... By our traditional Christmas gift. She already said that. No, she oh, did what? it. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. We sat it there and we fell to our knees and worshipped him. We also brought gifts. Three gifts, remember? Gold, frankincense, and more. The gifts, I believe, are now represented by your traditional Christmas gift. Yes, Christmas gifts. Very nice. Thank you. And after we had delivered our gifts, we left to go back home to our own country. But we did not go back through... Jerusalem. No, not back to Herod. We were warned in a dream not to go back his way again. Instead, we went away in peace, having found the true king of kings on a night in Bethlehem.
honking you. Yeah. Summon you. I have been summoned. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was taking those orders. <laughs> a mother. A husband and protector. A hero! Some shepherds out in the middle of the field, dude. Why is women possibly free potentially more from the east? We were all there on Bethlehem on a very special night. We came to be counted. We were visited by angels and came to see what happened. We followed a star and searched for a king. I was just there to help some folks in need. And I was there to have a baby. The Son of God, the King of Kings. God brought us all together on a night in Bethlehem. pleasure every year to work with your children and it's always interesting fun and I just love the energy that these kids bring so on behalf of our cast and our choir I think we all owe you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays and may the Lord of Christ be with you today tomorrow and throughout every day in each year. So how about that for you, Matt?